Hi, I'm Mark Takelet at Pursuit Boats. Let's talk about engine diagnostics and what you have on your boat and how to view all of those options. So what you see in front of me is going to be the Yamaha display on the left side and the Garmin display on the right side. I'm going to talk about the differences between the two and why you should be using the Yamaha display as you see it right here on the left side. Now your boat might be equipped with a CL7 gauge and uh, that's a, a, just a smaller 7 inch version of what you should see right here. Uh, they, they've actually discontinued that uh, display, so if your boat is not equipped with that, uh, I'm going to show you how to use all these functions on the Garmin MFDs. So starting with the typical chart display, to get to your engine diagnostics, you go to the home button, and then you get a strip across the bottom, and hit vessel, and then you get another strip with your other functions, you slide that over to the left, and now you have your Yamaha display and your Garmin display. So if you look over here to the right, that's what the Garmin display looks like for your engine diagnostics. You can adjust this with the, the gauge displays that you want, but if I go over here to the Yamaha, press on that, and that's what that display looks like there. So if you typically turn on your CL7, that's what it's going to look like. Now there's a couple of uh, big differences between the Yamaha diagnostic and the Garmin diagnostic. Now understand that all of the data getting fed to these screens is the same coming from the Yamaha uh, MFDI bus, but there's a couple of differences that, that uh, need to be noticed. So first of all, your shift pattern, you can see here that it says N for neutral. It also says N for neutral on the Garmin side as well. But what, watch what happens when I put it in and out of gear. So if I shift into forward, on the Garmin side, the N just dims. And over here on the Garmin side, the N turns into an F to show for forward. And if I go into reverse, it's going to do the same thing, but it'll be an R now. But on the Garmin side, it's still the N that's in the dimmed position. Okay, so you kind of want to see the uh, R for reverse and the F for forward. One of the other big differences is going to be your um, fluid levels. Okay, so on the uh, Yamaha diagnostic, from the factory, we are actually setting the fluid levels correctly on the Yamaha side. We're not doing that on the Garmin side, so keep that in mind. That's a really important uh, aspect. But at the same time, you also want to make sure that uh, regardless of what this display looks like right here, you always want to be looking at how much fuel you've used. And that's what we have listed up here on the left-hand side of the screen. Now, you can change what you see on the screens up here by simply pressing and holding the function, and then it'll show you what you can replace data with on the uh, right-hand strip over here. Okay, and if it's not going to give you as many functions, it'll tell you that. So if I go here, it's going to give you these functions that you can replace the data with. And if I go over to here for the time, that's going to take you to the main screen here, which shows you some other uh, important information. It's going to show you your total hours, trip hours, and your distances. And you can adjust some of these. Now if you want to adjust this, simply press and hold this and it asks you if you want to reset your trip distance. Okay, I'm going to say no for now. And my used fuel capacity is right here. And I can reset that if I want to as well. Now the one thing that I can't reset is going to be the total hours. So when I press that, it's not going to let me do anything. That's important because you want to know how many total hours are on the engines. But any of the trip hours gives you the option to reset that to zero. Now the important thing about the fuel gauge here is, or the amount of fuel used, is when you fill the boat up full, you always want to go back in here and reset that to zero so you know where you're starting from. It's always really important to, important to know how much fuel you've actually burned. Okay, so going back to this screen, now again you can still make adjustments here if you want to. If I want to put some different data in here, it's going to give me these options here. I can either have nothing in there, or I can press the engine button there and it's going to give me these options to load into that display right there. I'm going to go back and leave it just like it is and that's going to be the basic functions of the display. So for more detailed information if you go to the bottom right you see options. So if I press on that you can see a whole list of all the options that I can select from for the Yamaha information and adjustability. Now if I go to the Garmin side over here if I press options down here at that bottom right you'll see the, there's a much smaller list of functions in here. So that, again, is the reason why we want you to use the Yamaha side rather than the Garmin side. So let's shift back over to the Yamaha side. And you can see all the adjustments that you can make, but if you want 
more engine data information, you press information right up here, that gives me all of my critical engine data on the back side. I can see my trip information, maintenance reminders, tank information, and also very important is going to be the active alarms and trouble codes. So if you have anything going on there, you, you can e easily access that. So if I go to active alarms, you can look at each engine independently. And the same thing with your trouble codes. Now, if you want to see your engine diagnostics in combination with other functionality on your Garmin display, that's easy to do. Just go to the home button. You see at the bottom there's combo. Press on that. I already have preset combos in here, but I'm going to add another one. So I'm going to go add combo. And now I don't want that particular layout, so I'm going to go to change the layout here. I'm going to select a three pane layout. And to do this, all I want to do is I'm going to add a chart over here. So I'm going to put charts in, nav chart, and then I want to put my engine diagnostic right there. So there's my Yamaha. Now you have that. And I want to put my sonar here. And there's that, and done. So now I have all that functionality on one display. Now if you want to look at any one of these in the full screen mode, just press anywhere in the middle of it, and you get the mode up here, press on that, and you go to full screen. So that was a very brief tutorial about the engine diagnostics. I hope this video has been helpful for you, but if you need more information, you can always pull up the PDF from the link listed below the video description.